Well, namaste. Well, I just did a reading on with the new card put in with it uh, on Holy Man, Douglas White, the case of Douglas White. Terrible, terrible, terrible thing. He was a great medicine for the Ogallala Sioux, lived on Pine Ridge um, Reservation. And uh, they, uh, they arrested him, put him in jail for the rest of his life at the age of 72. Um, his ex had, uh, ex's mother-in-law, I guess it was, accused him of child molesting. And they went and investigated and didn't find any evidence, nothing of it. And it was thrown out. And then they came and arrested him again, and it was double jeopardy. They tried it again. They didn't um, let them put in the evidence that needed to be put in. They, um, and the people on the jury, it was an all-white jury, absolutely ignorant. They talked with some of the people afterwards. They don't have no idea what a medicine man is, what a holy man is. And the most ignorant statements I've ever heard come out of one woman's mouth absolutely a travesty of justice such a sad sad thing to see anyway it's called holy man the usa versus douglas white if you have prime um you can see it on prime amazon things so anyway i wanted to do a reading knowing this case to see what was there okay so uh, I wanted to check this one. I wanted to check these two because these Yeah. Yeah, this gets reversed. Okay. So I'll show you the reading that came out. It's very interesting. So what we have here in the center was, uh, again, you know, a fight, you know. It was a fight. It was, uh, above it was uh, the truth, the futility in bringing the truth in, in front. It was futile for them to try to do anything, okay? Uh, and what we have on the other sides of these is shape-shifting. So this was telling me that, again, shape-shifting, that they made it appear to be other than what it was. Uh, we have the woodpecker. So, again, it tells me they were very hard-headed, very, you know, just... Uh, they were not going to uh, bring forward what needed to bring forward. We had the decision, so this represent the court um, that he went on trial with. And this is bringing forth the truth of what happened in that case. And he was convicted, so this one was turned upside down. So what was turned upside down was creativity, dreams, and recuperation. So he lost all of those. He lost everything. Um, so here he was, this medicine man, very well known, had done miraculous things, had cured cancer, cured Bell's palsy, had done wonderful things. He was such a light to the tribe and uh, such a light to many others. You know, many came there, not all indigenous, and uh, but they put him in jail at the age of 72, on trumped up charges as a way just to make a point okay so again you know at the end of the film they say welcome to the reservation you know what happens to the indigenous people the indians also will happen to you as well we're just a forerunner and they brought this up because of the new um thing what is that uh, the security thing they have going now where yeah people are losing their rights and people need to stand up but this case was beyond heinous really a terrible thing 
So anyway, I just wanted to bring that out and show the new card how it fits in with the uh, with the rest of them. Um, and truly, this was a big fight with the court and was absolutely futile for them to go in. He did not have representation. They did not let his counsel bring forward the fact that there had already been another child that had been dismissed. So, uh, you know, terrible. I'm sure he's passed by now because it's, uh, this was in, I think, the 90s when this took place. But absolutely a travesty of justice. So thank you for sharing that reading with me, and namaste. See you online.